Welcome back everyone to another installment of Scott's Selections here with winnersandwiners.com. Now I know this is going to be the second video of the night if you're curious as to why that's the case. Uh, you, can, I referred, you can refer back to that in the first video where I ended up talking about how for future reference if I end up liking multiple games on a card, I'm going to be making several videos for my play of the day videos because of the fact that it's just a lot easier to find. And if you have any specific thoughts on a specific game, I don't want it to get lost in the shuffle where you look at the title, see one game and think it's one pick, but it's actually three. So for the convenience factor, I'm going to be doing multiple videos from now on if I like multiple games. For that reason, we're going to be looking at the second play of the day. It's going to be on Wake Forest, minus 18 and a half. It's available on FanDuel at minus 110, a time recording of 1.50 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like Wake Forest in this spot. First of all, they're going to be playing against Longwood. Longwood was supposed to have their opener against Delaware State. However, that game got canceled. And that's pretty important because of the fact that Wake Forest ended up playing Delaware State in the first game of the season, and they won by 50 points. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because Longwood – uh, was a four-and-a-half-point favorite and then ended up moving up to a seven-point favorite against Delaware State. If you're laying single digits against Delaware State and Wake Forest just beat that team by 50, I think Wake Forest should be laying a lot more than 18-and-a-half in this one. Now, Wake Forest in the past has been pretty underwhelming in the ACC, mostly under Danny Manning, who turned out to be a pretty abysmal head coach. But looking at who their head coach is now, they have Forbes, the former East Tennessee State coach, who has been great wherever he's gone. And I definitely think Wake Forest has a very solid head coach in the future. And they definitely looked the part in the season opener. I talked about how they won by 50. It wasn't even just that. They scored at will against Delaware State as they ended up scoring over 100 points. They ended up scoring 111 points. I actually said they won by 50. They won by 60. So I misspoke on that one. Either or scored 59 points in the first half, 52 in the second half. And this team just did whatever they wanted. They won the rebounding, at, they won the rebounding battle by 23. They attempted 32 free throws, shot, seven, shot about 78% from there, shot 45% from three, 54% overall. And Longwood, the issue that I have with them, they are better than Delaware State, don't get me wrong. So I do expect this game will be closer than 60. But if you look at Longwood, the issue that they've had in recent years, the fact that this team cannot rebound the ball at all. I know in yesterday's play today video, when they're talking about Illinois and why they would be able to kill Chicago State on the boards, they ended up winning that rebounding battle by about 40. And as a result, they won the game by 59. Uh, I, I think that this game is going to be a similar game script in terms of rebounding, not to the same extent, but I do think Wake Forest should end up winning the rebounding edge by probably around 30, give or take, something like that. And I do think that Wake Forest should be able to score at least 90-something points in this game. I think Longwood will struggle offensively, as they have in recent years, and Wake Forest has the length and the athleticism to cause some serious issues for this Longwood offense, which, let's be real, isn't exactly full of five-star athletes. And I'm putting that very, very politely. So I think Wake Forest at home, especially after they ended up playing in the Wake Forest Classic for the opener, they're staying at home. Uh, they're going to try to take care of business. The team has been awful in recent years. I don't think they're going to look ahead to anything because this team's going to try to get as many wins as possible. They're going to try to look great. Also, with the very unique offseason, a lot of these teams are just going to be trying to look as sharp as they can before they actually have some meaningful games. I think Wake Forest and should end up being a 20-something point favorite in the spot. And Longwood, even though they ended up getting a decent amount of money against Delaware State as they end up closing a seven-point favorites, Wake Forest is just a lot better than this, than this Longwood team. There's really no other way to put it. And I do think that Wake Forest should end up winning this game by about 20-something points because I really don't think Longwood will have many answers defensively. So the second play of the day here for Friday, November 27th, is going to be on Wake Forest minus 18.5, which is available on FanDuel at minus 110. That's been the Thomas Scott Selections. Good old to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.